delightful deer season. Unfortunately, the uh, neighboring property here, the corn is still up. That's not my corn. We're now done. That's my corn. I got the heater on because my windows were fogged up when I first got in. It's in the 30s. Chelsea's up on the hill, way back there in the other blind. So I'm a little limited as to what I can see this morning. But hey, it is what it is. So, won't be hunting this afternoon because we got a shit ton of equipment to still get cleaned up. Put away now the harvest is over. It's a little before seven. Been sitting here for probably 40 minutes. I don't know if you can see the shop way down there, but I forgot and left the lights on. Oh well. So we'll see what happens. All right, it's about 8:30. I am freaking tired now, and I am soaked. About seven, <coughs> seven ten, something like that. Chelsea shot. Then she texted me. She said, "Dad, I just shot at a really nice eight point. It was coming up the hill from behind her." So we waited. 15, 20 minutes. I told her to get out, go to where she shot it at, see if she found any hair or blood. So I got out and walked that way, met up with her, wandered all around, couldn't find anything. Well, when she told me a little more of the story, I said, did it, did it hump up when you shot it? She said, no, it crouched down and spun around and ran right back down the hill. Yeah. Well, for those of you who have been hunting for years, especially bow hunting, you know what the old crouch means. So, I probably just got really tired and really wet for no reason, but better to look and make sure. So, and... I know some of you are saying, well, why are you back in the stand? You know, you've wandered all around. Well, our neighbors do deer drives, and they usually start right around now, 8.30ish or so. So I told her we might as well sit for another couple hours and hope, see if they push any deer around. So, but, so I haven't seen anything, but Chelsea got a shot at one, which she probably should have waited for the deer to move from where she, I mean, she's 19. She doesn't have the experience that a lot of us have. So she took a decent shot, but she should have probably waited for a better one. And like I've told her. So if it runs off, you both live to see each other another day, probably. We are done with our custom job. She's been washing the tractor and cart. I am absolutely covered in dust. She wiped me off a little so I could go get the truck. Because we use that to put some diesel fuel in that for the heat. Rather than go fill a jug. We just put it out of the tank in the back of the truck. That sits over there. I blew everything off except for the inside. Because I got to take them side panels off. But, you know modern technology you have to have flip the phone around here somebody's ass in the seat in order for you know the thing to keep running so yeah so I'm gonna have to have her ass in the seat while I take them panels off and blow the whole inside out uh oh we got something bad going on here
Okay. What? I've got to blow the green head off, which is going to be nasty because it's been sitting out in the rain. She just put a mask on, and I looked at her like, what are you doing? It's, oh, keep, it's keeping my nose warm. It's to, chilly. To keep her nose warm. <laughs> I'm freaking soaked, cold, probably face all speckled because Skylar finally just got here. Looks good, so he's over washing Big Bird. I washed some of it. Now he's washing. <coughs> oh, God. This is the part of farming that sucks. Not fun washing things up when it's 37 degrees out. But I got Skylar up in the bucket because the thing's just too damn tall to get from the ground and trying to stand on shit and whatnot. Yeah, it's Sunday. Chelsea and I hunted yesterday morning, as you saw. And, uh, now we're making a, yesterday afternoon, we washed and cleaned and did all sorts of shit until about 20 minutes after it was dark. There wasn't much sense in trying to wash shit when you can't see it anymore. So it's about, what time is it? Right now it's 9.30. I think Skyler got here at 8.30, so we're making a, a mad dash to finish things. We got to finish washing this, wash the grain head, and then start putting stuff away. Because everything will be washed. And we got a smaller nozzle on that because it's just, I don't know, that thing just seems to be running at about 80 to 90 percent. It just don't don't blow like it should so the smaller nozzle gives it a little more pressure so if there's anybody out there who's not too far away from me you know within an hour and a half or so that knows shit about these pressure washers it's a john deere hot water pressure washer john deere probably charged me up the ass to take it back to him they would ever be willing to look at this send me an email so all right i'm gonna have to move them soon now we're off to the side. <coughs> As you can tell, it's dirty. And that's just, I mean, he could stand up there on the step to probably get that, but it's just like trying to get the auger and stuff. It's just too damn tall. And yeah, that's a narrow, narrow uh, tip on that wand, but it's doing the best job giving us the most pressure and right now I've got the heat on hoping it lasts what you saw I hope we get the phone footage in there when Barb was washing the tractor and cart and all of a sudden we had like steam all over there's a blow-off valve on the bottom of that that I don't know apparently her running it two three hours straight it got hot and blew off so Hopefully we get this done before because we've been using mostly cold water. The other day before yesterday before he got here, because he didn't get here till almost three because he had to work. I uh, I used the hot for the spots where there was grease and shit like that, but but I wanted to use the hot here to get all the grime off the outside. Try and get it as clean as we can get it. Obviously when we're done and we get it parked in the shed, we'll look at it and go oh man look at those streaks as, as i've stated in previous cleaning videos anybody who wants to bitch we didn't do a good enough job come right on out I'm more than happy to pay you to make it perfect because it's about impossible to clean things perfect but it's also better than you know some who don't ever clean anything so we're getting it I ain't putting shit away dirty, that's for sure. We're getting her. We're on the last side now. A little congested getting in here, I, the way I park things. I'll get this thing moved so we can pull the head up next. Go back to cold water. Hopefully this thing don't pop off for another five or ten minutes here while he's finishing glasses are so covered with shit he can't see what he's doing about 
what we're getting or it's amazing how shitty these things get somebody needs to invent a combine wrapped in bubble wrap or something I don't know of course then it would be hard to get the grease fittings to grease but they need to invent something to make them not hold so much shit this outsides I mean this is just it was a muddy year but all right I gotta move them again so it's really depressing I will say the one thing the one disadvantage tracks over tires is cleaning when it's muddy yeah that was just moving it from over there to over here just throwing shit around but you know it's good enough I mean it ain't got the mud packed a foot deep on it like it was but of course the advantage also is we didn't rut the living piss out of the fields too terribly bad compared to tires so but I don't know I mean it ain't worth pulling it back over trying to wash it off again that shit will dry up sitting in here for the next well however many months until they want it pulled out to try and do whatever they want to do still but I mean, other than that, it looks pretty good. It's shiny again. I'm sure once we get it in there, we'll be able to see streaks eventually. But what the hell are you going to do? Like I said, you can, you can wash forever. And you're just... There's some of it you just keep chasing. It gets clean, but then it pushes some dirt. Somewhere else. This year it's not dirt, it's mud. Last year it was pretty easy to clean because it was a pretty dry fall. But this year, yeah, see that track, same thing. This year, not so much. You can already see some streaks up there on the tube of the auger. But for the most part, it's pretty shiny. I just ran it. I haven't greased it yet because I'm waiting for it to like drip dry a little before I get soaked but I did run it for a minute just so that everything turned to you know push out any water that was where it shouldn't be then I'll grease it and that'll help push out any water that may have well it's not supposed to get into a bearing but we know how that works especially the last three years with COVID quality control he's over there washing the bean head now I was gonna put the corn head on and oil the chains while it was running, but what's it matter? They're, they're cold anyhow. It's not like I'm gonna sit there and run it for 20 minutes to let them warm up. So I'm just spraying oil on them, used oil, with my little thingamabobber there that you put oil in and then fill up with air, so. It'll be good enough. And that's gotta go in the back shed over there where I have to pull the snowmobile trailer out. Cause the grain head will go here for the winter. The combine will go over there against the wall. The cart goes here. The 8235 goes kind of behind the cart and between the cart and the planter. The 8295, I don't remember how, but somehow we squeezed it in back there. Basically, that's all he's got left to wash is that, and I just brush hogged my two little tiny cornfields there across from my house. The deer will have something to eat now. One is too hard to turn that thing around in those because they're so small. It was bad enough turning the John Deere around in there. And two, you know, I never put anhydrous or anything like that on it, so didn't have very big ears on it, so it'll give the deer something to eat in that maybe quarter of an acre between the two of them. All right, I gotta finish doing that. Because it's quarter to 11. Weeds. My brother borrowed this to go get a deer yesterday that they got. Because it's quarter to 11 and want to try and get that project done today. 
the dryer cleaned. <coughs> ah, goodness. We get that project done, then we will be done. And it's flipping cold this morning. I mean, like I said, it's quarter to 11 and it's like 38 degrees. <coughs> I think they said it might go up to 41. Ooh. But the next, you know, week, 10 days, I mean, it's Thanksgiving time this week. So we're, we're pretty much done with the, the warm weather. So he's over there warming up his hands in front of the muffler on the pressure washer. But if we can get, if he's done quarter to 11, if he's done with all of that by noon, Barb's going to make us some sandwiches. And by 12, 31 o'clock, we can get on the dryer by dark. I think we can kick its ass and have everything done. Will I have everything packed away? The curtain closed, the heat on? No, and looking over there, I just realized I gotta pull the two lawnmowers out, blow them all off. So the critters, you know, the mice and shit aren't having a field day with all the grass. And yeah, it's just, you always think of something. We gotta get our critter bait out. We gotta fill the bait boxes around the bins. I got all this. I'm trying something different this year. I've used all these and I always save them and just throw them around during the winter. You know, they start losing their smell, the cab fresh rodent repellents. Well, I'm trying Grandpa Gus this year, mouse repellent. And then in the bottom box, there's peppermint oil balls. Boy, they stink. I got them in the grain trucks over there. Those are put away too. You didn't get to see that. I mean, there's just... Yeah, I've been slacking. You haven't got to see the end of harvest. You didn't get to see. You do get to see, or you did get to see in the last video, the thrillingness. Thrillingness. Is that a word? Thrillingness? It is now. Thrillingness of uh, the custom job. Yeah. Supposedly I took out a mailbox also, but I don't remember taking out a mailbox on the road. And there's no, supposedly there's yellow New Holland paint on it. But there's no scrape marks on either side of the head. So I haven't figured that one out yet, but whatever. So, again, custom work now. <coughs> All right. It is, what is it? Quarter after four. Yeah, that says quarter after five because I ain't climbing up on the bench and changing that fucker. It'll be right next spring. Shop is closed. Everything is in cold storage back there. I lifted Barb up on the snow plow. She got in the center because the bucket was already off. We didn't think that one through, but we didn't close up the shop until today. But she tied all the strings, got it good and tight. That'll live in here this winter, obviously, for being on augers and plowing snow. That'll be here till deer season's over. Then it'll get stored in the other shed. The heat is on. It was 35 in here when I turned it on. Because it's cold outside. Yeah, it's up to 54. I got it set at 60. So 55 to 60 is pretty good. Got my half ass boards up to try and help keep wind and snow from blowing in the bottom. But it's a lot nicer in here now with this on. It's just a sweatshirt. Because I forgot my coat over the house. Yeah, it's Monday, third day of gun season. I should be sitting because there was a beautiful buck and three doe on top of the hill and a little scrubby buck who didn't want nothing to do with him about an hour ago. But I wanted to get everything done, done. The computer's in here out of the computer shack, covered up in the towel that I put it and the testers and the book and everything. We got rat bait and all the bait boxes that are up back there in the cold storage. Plus we've got a shit ton of, we went with Grandpa Gus this year instead of the cab fresh stuff that I get through John Deere. This has got that oil stuff to it, so we'll see if it's any good. I got these two because I'm gonna put them under the hood of the 6420 and the 7230s in the other shed. Also got these rodent repellent. They're these balls which are also got some sort of peppermint oil on them. 45% garlic, 15% peppermint. 
maltodextrin, magnesium stearate. I don't give a shit what's in it as long as it kills rodents. Because we've seen rodents outside. Of course, we had the whoopsie with the, the wet bin. So we got, you know, that little bit of corn that ended up on the ground. But we, you get rodents anyhow. She's going to give me another pail of the Tomcat stuff. I'm going to put some of that around in here. We basically do everything we can to keep the rodents from getting into the equipment. So, but I should have showed you everything back there before I closed it up and tied all the strings, but the combines back there, the 8235, the 8295, the cart, the grain head, and then you saw the rest of the stuff that's been back there, the planter, the drill, the seed tender, the spray, sprayer, the water wagon, the field cultivator, the rock picker. Yeah, that's why we built the addition two years ago. So pretty much everything is undercover except for the augers that are outside because we're using them during the winter, obviously. Well, all but the one, but that's behind the shed, so it's somewhat out of the weather. So I don't know. I was going to stay out here until this hit. 60 just to make sure it kicked off but it's at 55 got the water off in the barn got the water heater draining i'm gonna go over to the other shed now and put those two things in and i'm calling it a day so all right so here's your one more thing the snowmobile trailer is now here rather than in the back shed back there the old heifer barn because the corn head is back there cleaned chains oiled fertilizer wagon has been sitting there all summer 7230 sitting in here with the brush hog still hooked to it 6420s washed and put away right there for the winter freight liner and the ford are over there yes i remember to unhook the battery cables from the freight liner so it'll start next year because it's obviously got a small draw to it somewhere so, so with my one more thing, I'm going to say, y'all know how much I love deer hunting. So would I much rather be sitting in one of my two deer blinds up back right now? Absolutely. But you've seen me do my video before, the one called YouTube Farmer or Farmer on YouTube. Yeah, well, I'm a farmer on YouTube because I don't do this for the get you the great content and you know the this and whatnot i want to be done and then i'll go play okay so everything is washed everything is put away the combine's been greased you know the the rat poison and shit box all those boxes have been filled i mean we busted ass we hunted saturday morning chelsea and i Chelsea, and I think I said this earlier in the video, Chelsea missed a nice eight point. I didn't see shit, but from noon on, we washed and cleaned and greased and whatnot. Yesterday, Sunday, for like nine straight hours, other than maybe the half an hour that we sat down and ate our sandwiches, because, you know, the ex-friend who's a boy, Skyler, was here, because he's, he's a good kid and he still helps out. So... And I paid him well for helping out. He was here Saturday afternoon for maybe a couple hours because he had to work Saturday. I think he got here around 3, and obviously by 5 it was getting very dark. And we were done with the dryer, like, right at dark. That was the last thing we did. So now everything is, you know, you've obviously seen before that the chisel plow and the high-speed disc could sit there under the cold corn crib for the winter so but i gotta remember to turn my light off and shut the door but everything is done put away fertilizer spreaders over there i know it's hard to see in here there's only three lights but so i guess what i'm saying is that's why i'm not a youtube farmer because the work comes first the play comes after that okay i don't go play so i can make content for you Will I take you along deer hunting now a few times? Yeah, I probably will. If I get something, I get something. If I don't, I don't. But, yeah. So, the shit is done. 
the shit is clean, the shit is put away. We do have one more load of corn that's got to go because the back bin is still humped up pretty good. And I don't want to leave it that way because the airflow is not good when it's humped up. But Oh, and I keep forgetting. Don't forget to push the Grumpy Farmer Apparel link and get your Grumpy Farmer Apparel like this because we also now have the new winter hats. We have the new winter stockings, I think blue and gray. So, and it's fucking cold out right now. It's like 35. So I got to actually go there tomorrow and pick up barbs and mine. All right, see you in the next one. All right, giving you a quick second more thing. The Grumpy Farmer beanies are in, or we have them now, so you can order them. What do you think, Mox? Do you like them? Yeah, he likes them. So get your Grumpy Farmer beanie, other apparel. If you're ordering anything for Christmas, get it done within the next week because, you know, you want to make sure you get it for Christmas.